I'm joined today by Courtney Spence, who's the Director of Network Operations with Loeb & Loeb. And Loeb & Loeb is a global law firm that was founded in 1909, and they're a longtime customer of Nutanix. Thanks for being with us today, Courtney. Uh, absolutely, Pam. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, you made the move to Nutanix in 2014. Tell us a little bit about Loeb and & Loeb and what encouraged you to make that shift to Nutanix. Uh, sure. Uh, well, Pam, as you mentioned, we're a law firm. Uh, we've got several practice groups, uh, over 800 employees across eight offices in the U.S. and Asia. And uh, our organization, as I'm sure with a lot of other ones, um, IT's primary uh, um, mission statement is to provide a reliable, optimal, secure environment you know, for users, whether they're in the office or not in the office. Um, years ago, one of our biggest challenges was virtual desktop infrastructure. Um, we were, we, we did a lot, you know, we brought uh, SSD shells for our SAN, where we had fully populated blade servers, you know, fully out with CPU and memory, you know, flipped the switch and it did not go well. Um, I think that we can all agree that the first thing in the morning should not be logging in, going to get a cup of coffee and a muffin and coming back and still have two minutes left to log in. So it was not a good look. Uh, fortunately, um, we had uh, one of our uh, coworkers heard about a company called Nutanix. Said, hey, you know, we guys can, you know, we can solve the virtual desktop infrastructure problem, you know, just give it a shot. I was like, ah, okay, fine. You know, so we got two blocks, put it in, flipped the switch on that, and it was like night and day. You know, logins were faster, um, the desktop experience was good, and it was just uh, overall really, you know, great experience for us. And it went so well that we decided to just move forward with fully adopting the Nutanix infrastructure. And right now we're 99% virtualized with every single one of our offices running on Nutanix Backbone. Well, shortly after you moved over to Nutanix, you also went through a huge data center move. What was the impact of those changes for you and everyone at Loeb & Loeb? Um, that was interesting. Um, I, I, like, if anybody's experienced moving a data center, a forklift move, it's just not fun. You know, uh, we had about eight racks and we had no idea how we were gonna do it. You know, fortunately, that was around the time that we were introducing Nutanix. And the end result of it made that move so much easier. We went from eight racks, we consolidated down to three that we had to put in our new data center. You know, we cabled them up, plugged it in, and it was, you know, good to go. Our complexity and our environment was significantly reduced with the solution. Um, the cost reductions that we had was there, and also the single pane of glass. You know, we also adopted the Acropolis hypervisor. So we had a one-stop shop for compute storage and hyper and the hypervisor, and it was great. It gave my people also a lot more time to work on other things, you know, besides having to worry about, you know, fiber cables and, you know, sand switches and the whole nine. So it was good. I love to hear that. Um, have you made any recent changes to your organization within user computing? Um, we did. So last year, uh, we went through a, um, um, the beginning of our hardware refresh. We're still in the process of it. And we brought a uh, new uh, Nutanix blocks, you know, to beef up our server virtualization, uh, our server infrastructure. And then we also brought Nutanix uh, GPU nodes to, uh, for our BDI solution to be able to uh, better, you know, provide, you know, desktops and higher performing desktops for our users. Um, you know, we have been a, a Citrix shop for as long as I've been here, which is over 15 years now. And, you know, recently in the last wow. several years, we brought in the NetScaler for gateway and load balancing. You know, so with, you know, we had the application there and the only thing that was missing was a reliable backend for a solution for everything to support it. And Nutanix was able to provide that. You know, the, the additional horsepower it gave us, uh, we needed to quickly deliver better performing desktops through Zen Desktop, you know, which is currently allowing our users right now to work remotely, you know, without hindering their productivity. Um, so with, you know, Nutanix and uh, Citrix in place, uh, we were we're prepared for the current, you know, remote work life that we're experiencing. And uh, honestly, our biggest issue was, you know, shipping printers and other accessories to our users' houses directly. <laughs> to get them up and running. Well, there, there are, I think there are people all over the world joining us today, and they may not have made the shift yet. They're thinking about making changes to their infrastructure. What should they be considering in terms of end-user computing? I would say the biggest thing is performance. Um, you know, you know, you know your users. You know, you know your users day to day. You know how they operate. You know, reach out to them, find out, uh, um, you know, what their use case is. You have different departments, different groups. They all work differently. You know, the the standard paradigm of having a you know virtual desktop uh, that is 
you know, just basically a word processor is just not there anymore. Like you can't just support Word and Outlook and one web browser and say go. You know, users want to be able to, you know, use several applications, you know, keep those windows open. You know, they don't want to have to be told, oh yeah, no, you have to close that Word application in order to get Outlook to work right. You know, and, and you know, on their downtime, if they want to watch cat videos, let them do that too. You know, it's just <laughs> giving them that ability is just uh, 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 huge. Uh, um, I think that the hardest thing that, uh, um, you know, those out there will have to, um, you know, get, you know, past is the thinking that uh, storage, compute, and hypervisor has to be three separate entities. Uh, um, you know, trust me, I know, you know, I was right there with you initially, uh, but seeing how the system performed and also in no small part to the Nutanix support team. I, I mean, you can have a great product, but if you don't have a support team to back it up, you're not going to get far. And that's one thing that I have to give to Nutanix is that the, whenever we needed support, you know, they were there for us, you know, follow the sun in order to get things resolved. Um, and, you know, they listen, you know, we were one of the initial adopters. So uh, we had said, yeah, we were like this, we were like that. What about this? And they listened, you know, it was in the next, uh, um, you know, uh, software release, you know, so that was also huge for us as well. Um, I, I think that it's definitely, uh, I recommend giving it a test drive, you know, like you don't have to worry about being first, you know, we, we the first adopters took care of that for you, you know, you're welcome everybody. Um, but um, I, I would just say, don't be last. Um, I think it's a fun thing to learn new technology, you know, especially when uh, you know it already works. Well, I like that. Don't be last. Test it out. <laughs> thank you for sharing your story, and thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. That was Courtney Spence, Director of Network Operations at Loeb & Loeb. <laughs>